Okay, students, good day to everyone. A very small scenario to discuss how to calculate a share price by using dividend valuation model if the data is given like this. Look at this. Let's say T1, T2, T3, and T4, T5 till T infinity. Examiner says dividend per share. Let's say it is zero point take it uh four two. This is five zero. This is five two five six. And after that, examiner says from T five till T infinity, dividend will increase with a growth rate of four percent. From T five till T infinity, dividend will increase by four percent forever. And the requirement is just calculate P naught. So very simple. Since we have been given dividend, so obviously for we need to just calculate the present value of all the dividends till infinity. And some of that will give you the share price because examiner has given you the dividend per share. If instead of dividend per share, if you were given the annual dividend, then final value would have been the business value. Right now, the final value is going to be P naught, current share price. Since we have been given dividend per share. So for then to discount the dividend, we need to use discount factor KE. Assuming KE is 10%, so 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, 0.683. Now the question arises, what should be done for T5 till T infinity? Very simple. Look at the formula. P0 is equal to D0, 1 plus G, upon ke minus g we have d naught 0 0.56 one plus growth is here divided by ke which is let's say 10 percent minus 0 0.04 now very important point since you need to calculate present value from t5 till t infinity all you need is whatever the amount comes just multiply that with the discount factor of base year. Base year means previous year, which is 0 0.683. Repeat, we need actually the present value from T5 till T infinity. By using that formula, whatever answer comes, you have to disc multiply with the discount factor and the discount factor will be from the base year. Base year means previous year. So let's see, what are we getting? Present value of dividend per share. Present value of dividend per share, 0 0.42 into 0 0.909. I'm getting 0 0.38 uh, with a little bit rounding of 2. 0 0.50 into 0 0.826, 0 0.412, 0 0.52 into 0 0.751. 0 0.39, 0 0.56 into 0 0.683, 0 0.382, 0 0.56 multiplied by 1.06 divided by 0 0.06 because in the denominator from 0 0.1 when you will deduct 0 0.04 you will get 0 0.06. So 0 0.56 into 1.04 divided by 0 0.06, I'm getting answer 9.7 multiplied by 0 0.683. I'm getting 6.6251. So simply add all of them, it will give you the P naught. Just add all these present values. So let's add 0 6.621 plus 38. 2 plus 0 0.39 plus 0 0.412 plus 0 0.382. I'm getting 8.19. So simply this is how you calculate the P naught by using different valuation model. If if information is given, give, uh, if information has given to you in this format. Otherwise, if examiner instead of this gives you the information, like let's say examiner says annual dividend growth rate is let's say 5%. K 
is 10%, D0 is $2, and examiner is asking calculate P0. Look at the style of the information. Now you will be directly using the formula of dividend valuation model to get P0. So P0 is equal to D0 1 plus G K E minus G. Logical meaning of this formula is right now we are using this formula from T1 till T infinity. So you will directly get the P0 because there is no need to multiply the answer with the base here discount factor Y. Base here for T1 is T0. At T0 discount factor is always 1. So whatever answer comes if you multiply that with 1 you will have the same result. So right now we are using this formula from T1 onwards till infinity. That is why there's no need to multiply with any discount factor. You have to multiply with the discount factor whenever you are using this formula from in between like we did in the first example. So P0 is equal to D0 is $2. Growth rate examiner has given us 5%. So let's see what is the result. 2 multiplied by 1.05 divided by 0 0.05. I'm getting 42. So students, I have discussed both the styles of using dividend valuation model to calculate P0. I hope it will help every one of you. Obviously, it will really help FM as well as AFM students. So thank you very much watching this lecture never forget to enroll yourself in my smart courses of afm fm sbr atx pm fr and for fr and pm we have launched the live classes so thank you very much have a nice life